In this video, I'm going to be going over Backrooms Level 23, aka the Petrified Garden. If that sounds the slightest bit interesting, stay tuned for the explanation. You're going to enjoy it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to help me get to 500k so I can buy the Backrooms pants. Alrighty, with all that blabbering out of the way, let's get into the explanation. Backrooms Level 23 is a Class 4 question mark difficulty and is unsafe, overgrown, and has a medium entity count. This has got to be one of the most unique levels on the Wikidot, and it has one of the most unique level classifications that I've seen. The entire level itself is basically a huge super organism that's the size of a dwarf planet. Pretty much, it's just one huge living planet that's made up of trees and caves. The trees can look like any trees from real life, but there's also huge ones that we'll get into in a second. But the level itself is described as a similar size as the dwarf planet in real life called Ceres. You can travel all through the center of this level by using the natural tunnels that are carved out. The tunnels are surrounded by wood and stone and resemble just a normal cave system. Or you can walk around the surface of the planet, which is covered in really thick and dense forests. Now these forests are so thick that there's barely any light that comes through them to the ground. And the trees that I talked about earlier that are on the surface are from all over the real world as well, and they normally wouldn't be trees that are grown together, like oaks and evergreens are right next to each other here. But there's also these massive trees here that are like two miles tall and grow up through the ground called the Green Giants. These things can grow from the core of the very planet itself. There's also some extinct trees here, but it doesn't name any that are there, so it just says they're extinct. So under the tree-covered surface of the level, there are huge caverns and open rock cutouts and caves and pathways that I talked about earlier. Some of the caverns have specific names, and some of the rooms in the caves have specific names as well. Like the glow rooms, for example. In the glow rooms, there are several trees that grow, even without the sunlight. There can be so many trees that actually it seems like there's an underground forest, even though there's no light. Now the areas like this are lit up by an entity called the Gardener Saris, which are glowy bioluminescent things that light up the trees and the stuff down here. They can be in a bunch of different colors and they're pretty chill. If you've played Ark Survival Evolved, they kind of look like the map Aberrant, if you know. You know, the atmosphere down here in these caverns is damp and cool and earthy, and it's also the place where the most entities and vegetation spawns, so be careful. Pretty much think of a fantastical underground wooden city. The next part of the level is called the Ancient Ruins, and it's not just really one part, it's a collection of all the abandoned structures in the caves. All of these structures are extremely old and covered in roots and stones and vines and moss. And there's even some of them that look like they're from real life, but with slight alterations. Like the Great Pyramids of Giza are down there, but they're in a circle. Or like the Roman Colosseum is down there as well, but it's shaped in like a square, which is pretty cool. Inside of the ruins, there are some artifacts like poetry on tablets and cloth and some paintings from real life, but all the stuff here is really decayed and it's really fading away, so you can tell it's been there for a long time. Right outside of one of the ruins, there's a message written on a tablet in Latin. I'll get to what it says in a second, but that's the first of many scribblings written in this level. There's even graffiti scribbled on the inside of ruins that looks like someone hastily wrote it, like they were in a hurry or something. That plaque that I was just talking about says, we dedicated this great sphere of Giza to the great gardener in hopes of forgiveness for the great wrong we have committed. Already our purple eyes have turned green. We have started to return to the earth, forgotten and overgrown. Our only hope is that, alone and petrified, we will not disappear. So yeah, I gotta be honest, that's, that's creepy. The very core of this giant living planet thing is the part of the level that remains barely explored. It's the lushest area, the most plants grow here, the most entities are here. It's like a life center. The very core of the center is a huge never-ending reservoir of water that feeds the entire planet. 
And those two mile tall trees that I talked about earlier grow directly from this huge reservoir of water and they carry the water up its trunk and release the vapor into the caves and above the ground. So that's how the rest of the level gets its nutrients. The trees kind of work like roots if you think about it. This level is actually home to a really creepy entity called the Buried Centuries which can only be awoken if the phrase quote it's only a matter of time is said out loud the sentries themselves are trapped inside of wooden roots and the bark of the cave walls and if they're awoken they jump out and they scream so loud and so constantly until you run away the scream sounds like a chainsaw cutting wood apparently which is terrifying to say the least there's only been one base here, and it's called Meg Base Seedling, and they pretty much just explore the level and research it. Then they've got around 35 people that live with them. To enter this giant, fantastical living planet, you can just walk through a hollow tree on level 47 or 37. Or you can enter a hollow tree from the Crimson Forest to get here as well. And you can exit by jumping in that huge water reservoir at the core of the level, or you can noclip into some of the different ancient ruins in the caves in order to be sent out of the level. Also, I just realized how hoarse my voice sounds. Apologies, I've been recording all day. So that was the level 23. It's literally just a dwarf planet that's pretty much a living, breathing organism. There are caves and caverns full of glowing trees and normal trees, and there are old ancient ruins in them. On the surface, there's a dense forest, and all of this is fed from the heart full of water at the very center of the planet. Honestly, this might be my new favorite level. It, it, it just gives off good vibes, bro. Thank you for watching this explanation. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you are enjoying the Brugley Summer Spectacular so far. I'm recording this in April, so I can't tell if you're enjoying it, but I hope you are. Check out Toogly, my second channel, for some more content from me, and make sure you subscribe to this channel so I can buy some Backrooms pants, alright? Thank you to everyone for watching and everything you do, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.